Hi, hi Libra friends. This is Sarah from Serenity and today's video will be covering Libra's forecast for April 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Today I'll be using several different card decks including the traditional Rider Waite deck. We're going to cover what you're bringing forward into April from March, the biggest obstacle you'll face in the month, your biggest asset, your home life, your love life, both single and partnered Libras, the outcome, where you'll be at the end of April, and then I'll draw an additional card for the best crystal or stone for you to work with for the month. Obviously, this is my take on the cards and the astrology, and because of that, it's not going to resonate with everyone. And if it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let me shuffle quickly, and we will draw the first card, which will be what you're bringing forward into April from March. Oh, nice, nice. This is delight. We have seen you go through a roller coaster of emotions since January. You've been hopeful and excited. You've been depressed and sad. You've been unhappy. You've been let down. And you've also found yourself questioning whether you're making the right decisions, whether you're seeing the right people, whether you should even be dating, whether you should change jobs. It's just been a complete emotional roller coaster for you, honestly, for the last year. But things have started shifting, and they started shifting in February. February was a much better month for you, but March was even better, and especially the last week of March. The last week of March, you had the realization that, yes, you are on the right track and that things are going to work out. You started to get some of your self-confidence back. You started believing in yourself and you relaxed enough that you started having a little bit more fun as well. So that's where we see you beginning the month. You're at a better state of mind. Things are working for you. You do feel more confident in yourself and your abilities and you're actually feeling delighted at the possibilities of the future, which is a huge change for you, Libra. 2020 was a hellacious year. Um, and if you haven't watched, I have an overview for you for 2021 if you want to look at the full year to see the cycles that are coming. But anyway, yeah, this is the beginning. Well, actually, the last of March was the beginning of a huge new rebirth type cycle for you where things start working out you start feeling better, you start really focusing on those key things that maybe you've put off or you've, or maybe in the past you decided that they weren't that important. Now you've revisited them and you're ready. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to own your life. So this is a great place to start the month. Okay, let me shuffle really quickly. I'm going to draw an obstacle card from the traditional Rider Waite Tarot deck. Oh, well, okay. Looks like we've got two cards here. Okay. Two cards jumped off, so two cards you have. They are <laughs> the Ace of Swords and the Moon. As obstacles, this makes perfect sense. Ace cards generally like this always mean a gift, a gift from out of the blue, a gift from the universe. Ace of Swords, though, is the most difficult because the sword is double-sided. In other words, this is a good gift, but it's not going to come without obligations, responsibility, or discomfort. So <laughs> this also kind of makes sense with what's going on with you in you are moving out of your comfort zone and you're doing better, but it isn't easy. You're having to push yourself. You're having to push yourself to stay on track. You're having to push yourself to not self-sabotage as well. So you've got that going on. And the other card is the moon. And the moon basically is, is a card that tells us that we are our own worst enemy. When we end up so deep in our own head and our own emotions, it seems like nothing is ever changing. And it seems like, you know, we can't claw our way out of it. It is a card of anguish, but it's personal anguish. And that also fits right in with what's going on. You lately have been battling yourself, battling yourself to stay on track, battling yourself to not overspend, battling yourself to not overindulge, whether that's alcohol, whether that's overspending, or whether that's just staying up too late or maybe talking to the wrong people. People that you know that do not value you, do not appreciate you, and don't see you for who you are. These are people who generally just want something. These are not true friends. And I know you're lonely. I know you're tired of sitting at home and I know you're ready to go out and do stuff, but look at the company you're keeping. If you're really truly sick of the drama, then look around you. Are the people surrounding you 
the ones that keep the drama going. And if they are, then it's time to back away. In the past, you've made some decisions that you're not really proud of. The moon card asks, how long are you going to punish yourself for something you did in the past? Learn the lesson and move forward with that knowledge and stop beating yourself up. So as obstacles go, I would say, yes, you're gonna to have to keep pushing forward. Even though you've been giving this gift, it's gonna move you out of your comfort zone and that's gonna be an obstacle. And the moon, of course, like I say, your own self-sabotage is probably the greatest obstacle you're gonna face in April. <laughs> but in reality, working on ourselves is the hardest thing we can do. This will be an ongoing, obstacle obviously but for this month it will probably be in the forefront okay let me shuffle again and the next card will be your biggest asset to work with in the month ah uh, okay being honest with yourself and this this is a good card in a good placement your biggest asset will be being honest with yourself, looking at the big picture, which you do have the ability to do, Libra. You do have the ability to pull yourself out of the situation and look at it and look at how things are going to affect not just you, but your family, your co-workers, and the people around you. So once you've done that, be honest with yourself. Are you self-sabotaging? Are you maybe making decisions that aren't in your highest good? And do you need to change the course you're on? And it's okay. It's okay if you need to make some adjustments. We all do because you don't really know what you're getting into until you move forward on that path. So it's okay. So your biggest asset this month will be detaching from the drama, pulling yourself out of the situation, and looking at the bigger picture. But you have all the tools to do that. And then once you do, that will end up definitely helping you with the self-sabotage and making the month go a whole lot smoother. Okay, let me shuffle quickly and we'll look at the next card, which is your home life. Follow your dreams. A really good card and a good placement. Things can change at home. And you've had an inkling of that already. March showed you that things could change. So it's okay now to start dreaming about where you want to live, what you want to do, who you want to live with. It's okay. It's okay to think about those things because chances are very good it's going to work out. But before it can, you need to get clear on what you really want. So dream big. Give yourself time and space to dream and dream big about what your ideal situation would be. And then don't be afraid to commit fully 100% to this dream. Because, honey, it's your turn. It's your turn to be happy. It's your turn to really live the life that you're longing for. In the past, you've put your own needs in the background. And you've worked hard to please everyone around you. You've worked hard to try and bring balance to an unhealthy situation. And guess what? It didn't work. So now it's time to make yourself a priority. Commit to making that dream come true. Okay, and the next card will be your love life. Ah, moving forward fearlessly. This is a good card too. For single Libras, this is pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? This is you getting back out there. This is you dating and getting your self-confidence back. Starting to talk to people, starting to flirt a little bit, and also not settling for someone just because they're persistent. You know what you're looking for. You know what kind of partner you want. Don't settle. Someone is right around the corner. Someone very interesting and someone that you will be very excited to spend time with. So don't settle. For partnered Libras, this is about stepping forward fearlessly for you too. Does this mean that the relationship ends? Could be. If you know that things have been bad for a year now, it's not just COVID. It's not just the strain of the pandemic. It's not insert all those other excuses that you've been using. Not every relationship is meant to last forever. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. If the relationship hasn't made you happy in a very long time, then why are you and your partner suffering through it? Ask yourself those questions. Ask yourself why you're committed to something that is basically not giving you what you or your partner needs. Be honest with your answers and take the time to discuss it with your partner. If the relationship is moving forward and you are happy and it looks like things are working out, then this gives you, gives you the green light to go and take it one step further and step forward fearlessly. 
things will only get better from here, whether you're single, have a relationship ending, or partnered taking it to a next level. We're in the middle of a change in your romantic sector, and things will definitely get better. Stay optimistic and keep the faith. Things won't always look like they do now. Okay, I'm going to draw the last card for the outcome. Well, then I'll draw one more, which of course will be the best stone to work with. So if you stay on the path you're currently on, where will you be at the end of the month? Look inside yourself. Okay, it reads more like you're going to be at a very introspective time in your life by the end of April. You can also expect to have episodes of deja vu or feelings that you're repeating a pattern. But honestly, that's not what's happening. In reality, you're not repeating a pattern. You're breaking free from an old cycle, from an old way of doing things, from an old way of looking at yourself and looking at life. This is the change you've been waiting for. This is just the beginning. And you could easily fall back on old patterns, old ways of self-soothing, old destructive ways of thinking and bad habits right now and self-sabotage everything. So it's really important you stay aware of what you're doing and the choices that you're making. I know this is an uncomfortable time, but this is the change, as I said, that you've been waiting for. You're moving out of your comfort zone. You're breaking those old patterns that didn't work and you're moving forward to a better life. So it's really important that you stay focused on making positive decisions that will move you closer to what you want, not just momentarily self-soothe, like overspending, drinking too much, maybe partying too much, seeing the wrong people, and then end up further behind. Because when you're making those types of decisions, there are consequences. It's your time to take control of your life. Everything is new again because you are making new decisions. In the beginning, though, of this cycle, late March, all of April, it still feels questionable. It still feels like you're second guessing yourself. You're wondering if you're making a mistake, if you should just go back to your comfort zone and stay with what you know. Don't fall into that trap. And that's another big lesson for this month because you've made different decisions. While you may be repeating a pattern, the outcome is going to be different. So just keep that in mind, especially when you start wondering if you've made the right decision by making these changes. So just keep the faith. All right, let me shuffle. This is the Colette Baron Reed Crystal Oracle deck, and I'll draw one card really quickly. The best stone for you to work with in April is amber. Amber is a lovely stone. It is actually fossilized tree resin. So we're looking at a stone of wisdom, of knowledge, a natural stone that's been prized for years. And actually the oldest piece of amber ever discovered dates back 320 million, yes, million with an M. Amber is considered to be a mega healing stone in the spiritual community. Not only does it promote wisdom, it also works on the physical body, the etheric body, the spiritual and the emotional body. As a powerful healer, it cleanses the environment around you as well as your body, mind, and spirit. It draws disease out of the body and helps heal and renew the nervous system. It also works to balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. And this is really helpful if you are going to school, if you're taking tests, if you're working on something creative and maybe you're more left brain. This is definitely something that you want to wear or carry with you. You can meditate with it. It also absorbs pain and negative energy and it works wonders on stress. It's a wonderful all-around stone to have in your arsenal anyway, but definitely work with it in the month of April to make sure you do get the extra healing that you need for this wonderful and pivotal month ahead. I hope you enjoyed this mini reading and if you haven't already please subscribe and once again thank you patrons for your continued support. This video was made possible by them. If you would like to help the clinic or see more videos then why not consider being a patron. I'll put the link up here and of course in the description box below. Also if you would like your own personal reading you can find me at Serenity. Stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.